Hey YouTube, this is Mike coming at you again with another enthusiast computer build. Uh, this review of our case will be part of my uh, KB Lake i7 7700K uh, January 2017 build. Got a new build coming up and uh, some of the parts are coming in so I wanted to do a review of the case that I chose. This is the uh, Thermaltake Suppressor F51. I chose this case for several reasons. Um, one specific reason is uh, all of the uh, noise dampening material that's part of this case. You can see through the center here where the motherboard goes, there's a big opening and on the other side you can see some of that suppressive material that's put on the panel. Obviously I've already taken off the side panel. This is a case that does not have a window. Um, my customer doesn't care about lights, all that kind of stuff, so to make it even more, more uh, noise dampening, we chose the case that uh, doesn't have the window. Um, as you can see, it's it's got space for six hard drives. These cages, each with three in them, can pop out. These can pop out, uh, fully modular. Uh, another feature of this case that I like is uh, uh, one of these can pop out. You can load a hard drive into it, close it up, and then mount it vertically on the back side of the case. And I'll be demonstrating that here in just a minute. Uh, toolless DVD ROM drive sleds. Uh, I still put screws in them. Sometimes I ship my computers and I don't want the DVD drives popping out. So I, I put screws on both sides. Uh, this'll take a ATX, micro ATX, mini ATX board. This this case will take just about any, any board there is. Uh, let's take a look at the back panel. Um, you can see slots where if you want to have external cooling, uh, your pipes can come out from there. Uh, we won't be doing that. We're going to use a uh, Corsair H80 cooling solution in this build. Um, but if you wanted to, off. And you can see, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but this noise dampening material also makes this door real strong and real uh, durable. Uh, I like it a lot. Okay, so I've removed one of the hard drive sleds from the one of the three three bay cartridges, and uh, we're going to mount a four terabyte spinning disk. Uh, it's going to be a data storage drive eventually. But the way this works is there's these little plastic clips that ride along the side of this sled, and that holds the hard drive in. You just simply pop them out. You uh, mount your hard drive, obviously with the SATA and the power connectors in the back. And you line up the holes. And you pop these plastic pieces back in. You can hear them snap when you pop them in. And you're set to go. So you can either slide that in to one of these drive carriages like that one of six and then you would make your SATA and power connections back here or So if you want to uh, mount one of the hard drives in the back side of the case, what you can do is remove one of the sled carriages and uh, mount your drive into the sled. And it simply fits on these little brackets. It can be a little challenging to get them in there, 
but once you get them in there, the drive mounts. <coughs> once you get them in there, the drive mounts vertically with plenty of room left to put the side of the case back on. Um, I don't know what kind of value that has. Uh, only, I suppose, if you're running out of room here with uh, video cards and you want to mount your drive uh, on the back side. You can also mount an SSD on the back side as well. Um, I kind of like it for airflow reasons. Uh, I'm going to get a lot of airflow from the top of this fan coming this way across the chipset and out the back. Be a good thermal design, I think. So uh, I think I'm going to leave that one cage out on this build. Um, got your screw packet. Uh, put the screws from the cage in there. As you can see, the cable management on this case is very uh, user friendly. There's rubber grommets all the way down the side right here and also up in here so your uh, eight pin motherboard connector can come through the top um, from the power supply down here and come out and just plug right into the board also the 24 pin power supply cord coming out from the power supply right here can come out from right here and plug right into the board there so that's a good uh, that's a good solution there I just love the layout of this case um, this was a uh, hard OCP uh, Editor's Choice Gold Award winner. Um, I think we paid $109 for it. Uh, I've looked at other cases, the Fractal Design Define R5. Um, there were a couple of things I didn't like about that. I've also looked at the Cor Corsair Carbide series, uh, specifically the 200R. A um, couple of things I didn't like with that as well. Uh, I, I just really like this case. A um, couple of other items that I wanted to point out uh, with the power supply pulling air from underneath the case you always get dust and whatnot into your power supply. Well this case comes with removable filters. There's one back here and there's also one for the front side to clean out the dust coming through uh, your room environment into the power supply. Love that. In fact, I just cleaned this out on mine today and um, it was quite dirty actually. There's also another dust cover uh, in the front of the case, which I love. If you can get a good look at this, this door pops open here. And then there's a dust cover here that will stop dust from entering and getting in that 200 millimeter fan. These two little clips just pop out and this comes right off. And there's your 200 millimeter fan. Uh, easy cleaning and again keeps your case free from dust. Just love just love that feature. It's easy to put it back in the wrong slot there. Okay. Alright, there we go. There's some more of that noise dampening material. Here on the door you can see this spongy type material all down the front of the door. So when it closes you don't have any uh, way for noise to get in there. The way the airflow works is through these fans on the side. It's on both sides. And uh, of course you got your power buttons, power button reset, uh, USB 3.0, USB 2.0. I think on this build I'm leaving the USB 2.0 off because of uh, the lack of headers in the uh, motherboard, but uh, that won't matter. Won't be plugging four things into the front, I don't think. Uh, we'll have plenty of I.O. for USB in the uh, in the back. 
Another cool feature of this case is its ability to take a really long, a really long radiator for water cooling and it comes with a removable dust cover and I just think that's the coolest design ever. How, how, how convenient does that get? So for a hundred dollars I think you just can't beat this case with its features and uh, what you get.